What is up? My fellow Cheebits, hopefully all of you are having a very good day today. And I just want to say, no matter when you watch this video, I wish you all many great days to come, and I love you guys. Hopefully all of you are having a great day. So anyways, with that being said, let's discuss the topic of this video. The top 10 best-selling manga series of 2017. Now before I exactly talk about that, I just want to think about something. Can you believe it? The end of 2017 is pretty much here. I mean, at the time of me recording this video, it is December 6, 2017, and it's just like, there's not much time left. This year is about to be over, and it has been a crazy year. So many things have happened, so many good games to anime, manga, to just so many events in real life and all that have happened. That's just ridiculous, and... I just can't believe 2017 is already over. It really does honestly feel like it's just been a couple of months. I know many of you might say, like, Chibi, it's, it's been like a normal year, but it, it honestly does feel like this year has felt a lot shorter than it normally does. But even then, though, the end of 2017 is here, so it's obvious that, you know, we would have the top-selling series of manga and all the other type of stuff like anime and light novels, and so here I am to discuss it. So, the top 10, I have actually looked at the top 10 already. I will have the link in the description if you want to check it for yourself, and if you don't want to even hear me at all, I understand that. But basically, though, I want to go over the top 10, discuss them, and, you know, talk about how much they sold, and also just, you know, express my gratitude that these series continue to remain on top. So, like I said, Top 10, I'm gonna go from 10 all the way down to number 1. So, number 10 is Moggy. Now, FYI, Moggy ended this year. The series is now officially done. And sadly, I have actually yet to finish the manga. I wanna be honest here, not gonna lie to you, I have about maybe 20 or so, 30 or so chapters left to read of the series. I should honestly finish it since it ended this year, because I do love the series, I love the story of it. It's a really, really good manga. And, I mean, it's number 10. Out of all the manga in Japan that released this year, Magi is the number uh, 10 spot. It's in the top 10. Now, Magi has sold 2,713,074 copies. Now, that right there is just nice to see. So, this is the number 10 spot of, you know, manga sales from 2017. Now, moving down to number 9, we have Food War, Shokugeki no Soma. So, I think all these titles, before I go any further, I think all these titles on this list, everybody's gonna recognize them, and it makes sense why they would be on this list, because they're just very popular series, but just good to see what is remaining on top and what everybody continues to buy. But getting back into it, though, number 9, like I said, is Food War, Shokugeki no Soma, and honestly, this doesn't necessarily surprise me at all. I mean, Food Wars is a very, very popular series in Shonen Jump, I know for a fact it is. It's something that constantly is, you know, talked about and I see many constantly message me on social media saying Chibi you should catch up with the manga and all that because it's really good but as I've said many times I want to stick with the anime be an anime only but I've heard many good things about you know food wars and all that and it's something that's always a topic of debate on top of that it constantly gets new anime seasons it's now on you know season three of the anime that's currently ongoing right now so for it being in you know the top 10 it just proves that you know the series continues to remain relevant in, you know, manga. So, oh yeah, one thing I want to talk about, actually, that I forgot to mention, on the number 10 spot, you know, Moggy, it's kind of amazing that it's in the top 10 when it actually hasn't had an anime for a very long time. That truly is impressive. I'm just going to say, you know, hats off, tip my hat to, you know, Moggy for being able to remain that relevant, you know, even though it hasn't had an anime for very long, in a long time. Oh, and yes, the copies that Food Wars sold was 2,792,441. That's how many copies that Food Wars sold. So moving on into number 8, we have One Punch Man with uh, selling 3,223,151 copies in 2017. So obviously there's kind of like a bigger jump compared to number 9 to the 8th spot. But One Punch Man is number 8, which is kind of surprising honestly because I actually figured One Punch Man of all things would probably be in the top 6 maybe. I'm actually surprised it's you know so high up it's in the 8, but I mean at the same time though it hasn't had an anime so... Yeah, just, it's crazy though. So One Punch Man's still remaining very relevant. It's being sold like hotcakes and it's in the top 10. That just makes me very happy to see because One Punch Man is a really, really good manga. Now, number seven. Now, like I said, most of these series you're probably all going to be aware of and I actually talk about them in one 
point or another on this channel. Number seven is the Seven Deadly Sins, or Taizai, which is what I like to call it, and it sold 3,592,571 copies in 2017. So, automatically has almost over 300,000 copies over the number eight spot, which is One Punch Man, and it's also number seven. It hasn't actually or it's made it in the top 10, and it hasn't had an anime for a while. It will be getting an anime this January, which I'm excited for, because even though Season 1 wasn't the best, I know for a fact that since it got a lot of pop a lot of popularity, it became popular, I'm willing to bet you it's going to be done a lot better, and so I am looking forward to, you know, Season 2 of The Seven Deadly Sins, especially getting to see some certain scenes with the, you know, the Ten Commandments and stuff. But yeah, Seven Deadly Sins, number 7. Now, moving into the number 6 spot, honestly, this one doesn't really surprise me at all. It's a very popular series. I hear it talked about all the time. Haikyuu is at the number 6 spot for, you know, top 10 best-selling manga of 2017. It has sold 5,067,939 copies. That is a massive jump. Over a million uh, copies sold over the 7 Deadly Sins at the number 7 spot. So, the, right there, just ridiculous. Haikyuu is definitely just a big, massive jump compared to 6 and 7. And it just, once again, shows how relevant Haikyuu is and how many really love that manga. Now, moving on to number 5. Now, this one, honestly, I'm actually very surprised that it's not in the top 3. But, it, it also is expected when you see the other, you know, 4 above it. So, number 5... Tokyo Ghoul Re. Now, I'm happy to see it in the top five. It makes me very happy to see Tokyo Ghoul Re in the top five because it's a manga worthy of praise. I'm glad to see it at the top and all that. And I'm glad it made it in the top 10 because it just once again shows that there's a big fan base behind Tokyo Ghoul. Many love the series and it also proves that we're probably going to have a continued consistent quality when it comes to the chapters and many chapters to come because you know, it's just so popular. There's no fear of it getting axed or cancelled or whatever, because it's still a very relevant series. So, Tokyo Ghoul at number 5. I'm glad to see it there. It sold 5,303,514 uh, copies. So, yeah, that's a lot of copies it sold. So, good job, Ishida. Congrats to you. Now, moving on to number 4, we have My Hero Academia, or Boku no Hero Academia. Now, let's just be real here. Nobody knows about that series. N -n Nobody knows about about Boku no Hero at all. It's definitely not a series that, uh, you know, has became very popular since its anime, or actually even before its anime came out. When the manga first started, it already had a massive fan base. I remember when I started reviewing and all that, there's just a big fan base for it, for the manga before it even actually had an anime. And ever since then, it's always been near the top every single year. So honestly, I'm not even surprised that My Hero Academia is in the top five. I'm just glad to see Horikoshi continuously have having this quality work every single chapter and is getting praised and, you know, he's able to take his story however or whatever direction he wants to take it. So, My Hero Academia sold uh, 5,852,310 copies. So, it's a significant jump from, you know, number 5 spot from Tokyo Ghoul Re. So, you know, congrats, you know, Horikoshi. I, I love your series and I'm glad to see it selling so well. Now, moving into the number 3 slot. Now, once again, this is... this spot doesn't surprise me. It just, it surprises me that we still have yet to get an official English translation in the States. Kingdom, at number three. Yeah, you heard me right. Kingdom, a series that, you know, is about warfare and stuff, which I love. I love the series, and, you know, I should be making more videos on it, honestly. I am finally up to date with it again. I should be making more videos. I just haven't, but it doesn't surprise me that Kingdom is in the top three or even if it was at the number one spot, because it's such a good series. It, it's definitely by far one of the best manga I have read in recent times. It's such a fun read. Every single week a new chapter comes out. And so, it just astounds me that Kingdom, even though it's so popular, like, okay, let me just talk about how many copies it sold. Kingdom is at the number three slot of the best-selling manga of 2017, or a series of manga in 2017. It has sold 6,184,214 copies. So, that is a massive jump compared to My Hero Academia. That's a big jump right there. But even then, even though it's this massive, it is still yet to get an official English copy. Like, what? Like, okay, look, we got My Hero Academia selling like hotcakes, okay? It's getting, you know, three seasons of anime, it's getting a movie, it's getting a game, you know, it's getting all that stuff coming out very soon, and 
it, it, it's, you know, gotten updated where, you know, Viz is starting to release the manga volumes to keep it up to date with, you know, the Japanese volumes. It just, you know, shows the popularity of My Hero Academia. But even then, though, even though it's selling so well, Kingdom is technically doing better, but it is not getting released in the States. What, what is going on there? Why is Kingdom not getting a proper translation? That's what really bugs me. That's what, like, really bugs me. Like, why does Kingdom get shafted so much, even though it's clear as day that it's so popular? It's always getting on top of all the cells and stuff. Every time I talk about manga cells or whatever, you usually see Kingdom in there. So, it's just crazy to see that Kingdom is, you know, still lacking a full translation, an official translation, even though it is so popular. It, it just, how? But, uh, yeah, Kingdom at number three, it has beat Tokyo Ghoul, My Hero Academia, Haikyuu, Taizai, One Punch Man, Food Wars, Moggy, but it, for some reason, it still lacks official volumes. What, what, what's going on there? Anyways, number two, now, not surprising either, Attack on Titan at the second spot in the top ten, it has sold 6,622,781 copies. So, Attack on Titan, still doing very well, very relevant, and it's at the second spot, so it just shows that the manga still selling, and I, I'm willing to bet you probably the Season 2 that came out earlier this year probably boosted those sales quite a bit, and many are probably looking forward to Season 3 next year. Now, the number one slot, I, let's just be real here. Let, let's just, just be real. We all know what number one is, okay? Come on. We, we all know. It, it's always in the number one spot. And if you really don't know what it is, I don't know what to say. Because it is probably the most predictable thing to see in the number one spot out of the entirety of this list. One Piece. At the number one spot. Now, I want to talk about how many copies it sold, okay? Because this is probably going to make your mouth drop, okay? Now, let me just go over the second spot, okay? Attack on Titan, how many copies it sold. Attack on Titan, with 6,622,000 copies sold. That's what Attack on Titan in the second spot sold. One Piece sold 11, yeah, you didn't hear me wrong, 11 million copies. 11 million, 495,000 copies. So, a massive, a massive jump compared to the second and first place. Like, that is mind-blowing massive. It just, it just shows how massive of a series One Piece is and how nothing can really compete to the gigantic, like, pillar that is One Piece and what Oda has crafted for it to just continuously be at the number one slot. It continued to sell so much that it dwarfs everything underneath it. It's just scary to think about. You gotta imagine how it must feel to be like, a, you know, a shonen writer. I mean, you're looking at yourselves, you're like, hey, I sold two million copies. I mean, you look at Oda's like, I sold almost 12 million. It's just like, yo, like, whoa, it just... It's crazy, so, um, basically, yeah, it's just good to see that, you know, One Piece is still on top, it makes a lot of sense, it's a, a very, very loved, beloved manga series, Oda does such a good job with it, and, I mean, yeah, it, it's to be expected, honestly, I mean, it's not surprising, it's just, it's crazy that the sales of it are still just so ridiculously high compared to the second spot, it just once again shows that it's very hard to bring down the Titan, which is One Piece. So yeah, that's uh, the top 10 best-selling manga series of 2017, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below, what do you think is your top 10, like, you know, not just sell-wise, but what do you think is the top 10 best manga from this year of anime, let me know in the comments below, if you enjoy my content, Please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you want more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. Love you guys. Please be safe. Chibi out.